What's up, kids? Uh, Mr. Ladner here. I am reporting to you live, as I always do, uh, this time from the inside of my basement. Today we're going to bring you a little PE lesson where we're going to review some of our uh, throwing cues that we worked on earlier in the, earlier in the year. We're going to talk to you about some games that you can create on your own, that you can do in your own house, with your family, with the stuff that you own right at home. All right, then I'm gonna tell you the equipment that I used for this game and some alternative equipment that uh, you guys may use if you do not have what it is that I am using. All right, so with that said, we're gonna get right into throwing. A few things we need to know about throwing. We're gonna have our side of our body facing our target. We're gonna step towards our target. We're gonna bring the ball back so it's by our ear. Then when we release, we're gonna follow through, all right? So, right now, I am throwing towards the wall with all the stuff on it. We'll talk about that stuff uh, later in the video. But since that is my target, notice I have the side of my body facing the target. All right, so now I'm ready to make the throw. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step towards my target. I'm gonna take my front foot, the one closest to the target, which is the wall. I'm gonna step towards the target when I throw. While that's happening, I'm gonna take my arm, I'm gonna bring it all the way back so that my, uh, whatever it is that I'm throwing with is right by my ear on that side. And then when I throw, I'm gonna release the ball and I'm gonna follow through the whole way. All right, so I have my side to my target. I'm gonna step towards my target. I'm gonna bring the ball back to my ear. I release and I follow through, all right? So, a few of the basics with throwing that I wanted you guys to uh, remember that we worked on earlier in the year. I want to go over some of the stuff that I was just throwing at, all of those targets, and this is what's gonna help you guys create some games that you may do on your own, all right? Now, if you can see up there, we have a lot of stuff. A lot of different words, a lot of different letters, a lot of different signs, numbers, all sorts of stuff. All right, I just kind of threw everything on there. It's up to you how much you want to do and what specific things that you want to do. All right. So, for example, uh, we have some letters up here. Maybe you want to spell a word. Maybe you want to try to spell your name if that's what you choose to do. You would use all of the throwing techniques we just talked about, and you're gonna to try to throw at those targets, all right? My name is Mr. Ladner. If I wanted to spell my name, I would aim for L, then I would aim for A, B, and E, R, all right? I can't move on to the next letter until I hit the uh, one that comes before it. So that's just an example of something you can do. All right. We have a minus sign here. Maybe you want to do a little math. Maybe you want to create your own equation. Maybe you want to say one plus two is, we figure out what one plus two is, all right? And then we hit all of uh, the cards. So maybe I want to go one. And again, we are throwing while we're doing this. All right, I'm just doing it quickly so you guys can get the hang of it. We're gonna go one plus two equals, and then three would be our answer. Okay, maybe we'll have mom or dad ask us, you know, what is one plus two? We'll figure it out in our head, and then we aim and try to hit the number three. Uh, we've got June over here, which, is a month of the year. Maybe we want to uh, sort it out so that all we have up there is months of the year. We've got rainy, sunny, cloudy. All right. Maybe we want to incorporate some weather. Um, maybe we want to do days of the week. Uh, maybe we want to ask what day comes after Tuesday. All right. We can find up there where it would say Wednesday, we would throw, try to hit it. We've got some shapes up there. 
Maybe we want to aim for shapes. These shapes are in certain colors. Maybe we want to aim for certain colors. Um, all this stuff that you can do with all the stuff that I'm about to uh, show you. All right, so I gave you a bunch of examples, but I want to challenge you to create your own game with your own um, subjects that you want to do. You can incorporate math, you can incorporate ELA, you can incorporate anything you want. Sports teams, schools, anything you want to do. All right, this is completely up to you. So, lastly, I want to tell you guys some things that you can use that you might have uh, right around at home to help you do this activity, all right? So, first off, I have some post-it notes up there, all right? These post-it notes are really good because they won't stick and damage the wall when uh, you put them on and take them off. You can put them on anything, all right, take them right off. Perfect, all right? So I'll just leave that right there just to show you guys that, you know, the post-it will stay on there. Uh, I used a few post-it notes. I didn't use a ton of them because I wanted you guys to be able to see what's up there from all the way back there, and that would be hard to do with these ones. So I used some index cards. All right, these are some big old index cards we have here. These will require a little tape, but it gives you a chance for a bigger target and something that you can use to write whatever you want on in whatever color. Um, envelopes are another idea that you might have if you don't have the next cards lying around at home. All right, you can write on the envelope, and there you go. All right, construction paper. All this great construction paper. This is good because it gives you different colors without writing uh, the colors on them. Uh, I chose to cut shapes, circle, square, triangle, rectangle, out of the construction paper, tape it on up there, so that works really well as well. Um, Sharpies I used. These Sharpies, I was able to use different colors. Um, so maybe if I said I want to use I hit the number three. I hit the number three. Now I'm asked, what color is the number three? Well, I wrote that one in blue so I could be able to identify a color, which is good. Um, if you do not have colors, colored pencils, anything like that, pen, pencil, anything that you can write on works perfectly fine as well. Scissors and tape. Got to cut the uh, shapes. Got to tape everything on there. If you choose to use tape, which may damage the wall, you may not want to do that. Totally up to you. Don't throw scissors. That was a horrible idea. Um, I used a little snowball here. Um, this is an indoor snowball. This one does not taste good, um, but this won't do anything to the wall because it's really soft. You can throw it that hard, no big deal, does nothing. We don't have those. Take mom or dad's stinky socks. Roll them up into a bowl. And now we have another little soft ball type figure that we can throw at the wall to help us work on our form. Lastly, hat, glasses, chain, if you want to be cool while doing the activity. But that is uh, obviously completely optional. That's up to you. Um, I like the glasses. I'm not going to throw them. I'm going to set them out nicely over there. So there you have it. Uh, little drawing review drawing lesson that you can do at home uh, by yourself with your family you can take some time to do some drawing or some writing on the index cards 
or the post-it notes or whatever, throw them up on the wall, practice your throwing skills that we worked on, all right? I hope everybody stays safe. I hope you stay sanitized. And I really, really hope to see you soon uh, because I really miss all of you. I can't wait to see you again. With that said, Mr. Wagner, signing off. Peace. Hi, Riley. This is Mr. Beer's PE teacher. Talking about spring. So what better way to get into spring than Mr. Beer springing on a trampoline for you. Here we go. Hope you're all having a good spring. See you soon.